Uh, today, <coughs> looking at another DS light board. So I've written no power on it. Uh, it's been sitting in a box for a while. Got a small amount of corrosion there. That connector is mangled. Also missing some pads on the shoulder button. That shoulder button's completely missing. So, I guess first things first, we'll deal with the corrosion and go from there. It's not a huge amount of corrosion, so hopefully it cleans up alright. alcohol scrub it so that looks okay now those buttons missing aren't going to affect it powering up or not let's let's try battery for charges not properly oh. let's try another one okay, that battery is charging It does light up like it's going to turn on. Okay, well that small bit of corrosion is easy to deal with. It's not going to boot up without the Wi Fi board. And the Wi Fi board plugs into that. The next thing we'll do, we'll swap that over. Once we get that swapped over, if it boots up, get the shoulder button sorted. Probably gonna have to go under this microscope for that, I'd say. So let's swap over. Before we attempt to put the new one on, we'll get one off a donor board. So I've got the board holder thingamajiggy going here. I'll heat it up from the bottom so they don't melt it. Got a pretty thick nozzle on at the moment, so hopefully that's good. Try and get it in a good spot. Wiggle it off. We got that on off pretty easily, but because of how small it is, we're probably going to have to do the other one under the microscope to line it up properly. So, yeah, we'll go under that one now. So I just took that mangled one off the same way I got the one off the donor board, nice and easy. So there we are, where we need to line it up for the new one. We're going to take off that old solder first. Put some new stuff on, and hopefully with a nice steady hand, not stuff it up. I don't think I've ever replaced one of these before. Nice and clean. And then my flux. On. Go away, birds. No, 
and just wick off that little excess bit. Might be easier. There we go. Tricky a bit. Trying to line it up. It's not quite on right yet. Now that I've lined it up under the microscope, I think we'll go back onto the board holder and heat from below again. I think that's the way to go. So I can heat it up from below this way again. And that way we don't burn that connector. Now it's lined up right. That looks better. I'm just going to go over the pins and make sure they are solid. Now 
They look good. What we might try next is we'll whack it into a shell and see if it can actually boot up. And if it does, we'll restore the shoulder buttons and we might have a good working board again. Now, right, let's put it in a little case. Moment of truth. That flip fits in all right. Nothing. No, battery's charging. No boot yet. No boot at all. Maybe there's battery to get some juice in it. See what happens. All right, it still didn't boot even when the battery had some charge in it. So looking back at this section that had the corrosion on it, that wire there is pretty dull. Um, so we're gonna run a wire from the resistor looking thing that it runs to. I think it's a resistor. Gonna run it from that to the other side of the board where the wire runs to. See if that helps it. Um, even though that wire doesn't really look like it goes anywhere. See what happens. Cause that's the only thing I can think to do now it did boot up before and then it didn't and the only th difference there was the cleaning of that so we've run that wire now we're going to do these shoulder buttons so that left pad is on the ground pad so it's not actually required I don't think but we'll get it on there anyway it's only little uh, the middle one's the only actual one that runs back to a clicky thing I trace as such I should say so I'll get that one soldered down so both the buttons that I'm using are also off donor boards so hopefully they're all right um, I couldn't actually test them on the board since that board's also a dicky board heavily water damaged so hopefully the buttons are right get some flux in there front and back Try and secure it down. Some solder. Nice and easy. Oop. Blurry. that front front end as well really do want these things to be secure because they get mashed in and pushed backwards when they get pressed down so I don't really want them to be wobbly dobbly I think that one looks alright Yeah, hopefully it's all right. Seems solid, it's not moving. Button's still clicky, which is a good sign. Move on to the next one. Where is it? There we go. We get the old solder off first. Oh, where's the wick? Get the wick. There it is. Goot wick. Good stuff. Alright. Find my other donor button where is it I had it a second ago where'd I put it oh, yeah flux first of course 
There we go. On. Looks alright. Give it a clean. Alcohol, toothbrush. Gonna clean the other one while we're at it. If we could see it. Okay. It looks like it took to that new pad. It looks solid. That middle one's not moving. Happy with that. Hopefully the button's alright. Alright. We'll um, put the put it back in its shell. Put the back cover back on so this battery holds in nice and solidly. And find out if all this was worth it. <gasps> oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Touchscreen's working. The fact that it turns on is a miracle. Normal buttons are working. I'll get it into the menu so we can pick the chat. See if these shoulder buttons work. If they don't, I can go over them. The fact that it turns on, yes. That makes me excited. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. One of them's having a hard time. Oh. Uh, it's kind of working. The left one's alright. The right one's a bit dicky, which is the one that was missing the pad. So I might have to open that one back up and go over it. But that's the least of my concerns. I'm just glad it uh, powers up again. So, happy with that. I'll go over that button later. You get the idea. Might leave it at that for now. Um, remember, like and subscribe so I can keep doing it. I enjoy it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And, well, I guess I'll see you in the next one.